I heard The Rock is going to find Mr. McMahon on Sunday Night Heat. We also found out Stone Cold will be in the tournament, but that's not all you'll see. You'll see the WWF Women's Championship on the line. Jacqueline defending against Sable. Let's take a look at their rivalry and then hear from the women's champion. Jackie, first you took my belt and then you took my hair. Sable thought she got a butt kick. Well, wait till she get in the ring against me now. That belt belongs to me, and I'm coming to get it. I'm gonna beat her like she stole something. <laughs> That's a promise. So be prepared for the fight of your life. See? This what makes me mad. I'm the cinephobe, and Sable is on the cover. Sable, you always think you better than me. I took your man, I took the hair, and baby, I took the title. And Survivor Series... You ain't getting neither one of those back. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Trip Around Multiverse with your host, the guy who only won the title because of nepotism, Carl Charles and... <laughs> Alright, and the manager of TNA, Tess and Albert that is, C.Y. Chung. And in this episode, we're going to take a look back at a period where people say it's the best time in wrestling. For the men, all, anyway. Also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, also, almost partly the opposite for the women. Yeah, we're going to talk about the women of the Attitude Era, and yeah. Um, but this is interesting because when you look at it, it I think even before the Attitude Era, they didn't have much. They did have women, women's wrestling and stuff like that. But yeah. by the time we were watching it, they were really What's non-wrestling the mood. Yeah, yeah. And then they kind of, at this point, became. I don't know if you want to say they became respected or not, but when they were on TV, I kind of uh, wrestling matches. I was not watching their matches. Um, oh yeah, you yeah, know, being a teenager, you'd probably go yeah. to the to get a hot dog or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. I sound like innuendo, but <laughs> I didn't mean that. No, but you're right. <laughs> they wasn't the most um... <sighs> compelling. Yep. Yes, that's the word of putting it. Yeah, compelling. Yeah. Um... Thing on TV. Is it, but it's a massive difference between then and now. Yeah. Um, because like I will wa- uh, Yeah. Uh, I will probably... I will watch women's matches. Yeah, same. Because they... they well, to be fair, they probably put effort during this time, right? As well, well, you can't fault the people during the time. No, no, no. You got you fought the higher-ups at the time. Not the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, so how do you want to... Do you want to just go through people by people? Yeah, go by people. Well, hey, hold on, hold on. Okay. The Attitude Era, are we saying that's from 97 to 2002? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. 96 doesn't really count for anything, if I'm honest. Yeah. Well, the new, the, that's the new generation era, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too and like I think some of, the, some, of the, some of the things we'll be talking about, and if the, the that roster member was still active after the Attitude Era was still discussed because, you know, they started at that. But they, they were a key period of that time, maybe? Yeah. Depending. Maybe, maybe. the key parts of their career were at that time. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, actually, who would you say is the most successful female during that time? Um, during that time, during a who? Because it'd be our three, wouldn't it? It would be Lita, Trish, Stratus, or China, and probably Lisa will pull full full third in that because uh, she had neck injuries. I wouldn't even say Trish, like. Trish but kind of came a lot better when they actually let her wrestle, yeah. like in the Ruth and Aggression era, really. Yeah. Um. That's true. That's true. Final, that's true. To be fair. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can't, yes. I mean, to be yes. During that period, yes, I yeah. will say that overall, would you say Trish had a better career? Overall, yes. Yeah. Trish would be number one. Yeah, and elite at number two. Uh, I do remember when I uh, just started wrestling, and I was like, Ooh, "Oh, yeah. was it? I think it was a was it Test and Albert yep. and Trish versus the Hardy Boys and Lita, and Trish was terrible." Yes, that is extremely correct. Yes, it was <laughs> um, not the greatest. Well, she worked her way up, and I gotta say, you know, you're gonna give credit if you watch the first first Trish Stratus match versus the last Trish Stratus match. Yeah, leaps and bounds, man. She came yes, yes. leaps and bounds. Yes, um, and if you watch the Trish Stratus ra- match where she fights Vicky James, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. 
Oh, you know about the, the edit. So you watched? Did you watch that match live? Yeah, I watched or that match live. Recorded. It? Okay. I watched that live. And you know how the the PG version cuts the yeah? Because uh... I think I watched it recently, and I saw like, oh yeah, good. No, they cut it. All right, cool. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, do you remember how that whole few started? Uh, not a whole few started, but you remember parts of few which were very um odd. Yeah, yeah. So she tried. She was Mickey James was a Trish Stratus stalker. Tried to become Trish Stratus, and then Trish Stratus thought, "Okay, I'll play Mickey James James's own games against her." Yeah. By getting my boyfriend, Trish Stratus's boyfriend, right? And then pretend to be Mickey James, seducing him or whatever, right? Yeah. And the, the guy was like, you don't go, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it was. <laughs> He's like, all right, so you're trying to make this lady you pretend to be you jealous, except that you're, you're, you're rating on your own boyfriend. Yeah, none of it And he's sense. like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, none of it made sense. No, no, in- indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, I have to say uh, Trish had a very um, good career and also very uh, low lights. Of a yeah. Career. Yeah. yeah, like the barking like a dog and things. And yeah, stuff. so so yeah. so Vincent Man did something wrong. I can't remember exactly what he did. Right, I think trying to purge it out of my mind. Um, because uh, it's a very it's a very it's so looking he, back did... at it now, yeah, it's quite telling with what's happening in now a day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So he did something wrong, whatever. To, to he wronged Trish Stratus somewhat. I can't remember exactly what it was, right? Yeah. And then, so he made her apologize to him. Yeah. He did not accept that apology, and then he made a stripped her underwear and uh, back like a dog in front of uh, in the ring in front of yeah. all these, uh, front millions of and millions of fans. Yeah. And then she got her come up. Uh, he got his come up. It's by she. She. What did? What did how did she do? She, didn't she? It was at WrestleMania, I know that. Yeah. I think she betrayed him. I can't remember how. And then Linda yeah, yeah. McMahon came out of her coma. Yes, yes. Yeah, and kicked him in the balls. And then Trish Stress, the person, not the wrestler, yeah. said, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have done that storyline if it, if I didn't know what the end result was going to be, which was, you know, I was going to turn it blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, it feels like you're trying to defend it, really. Yeah. Um, cause you, it's like one of those things where you're like, okay, this, I was told to do this, right? Yeah. But now I have to make it look as not as bad as it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. because they're telling me also now to backtrack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. hindsight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you remember it. Yeah. Um, I think it was a test in Albert versus the Dudley boys as a tables match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, so they had the little, they did the, you know, the video <clears throat> match footage, whatever it is, there, the, the promo package. Yeah, yeah. And Trish is in some like nightwear or whatever, right? And then she's drawing circles on the table with her middle finger and saying, Bubba Ray, would you like to push me uh, through the table? Like, you know, whatever it was, right? Yeah. And it was very, uh, <laughs> well, like, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? My friends, my friend was watching it, right? Not with me. He was watching it in his own house, of course. Later on, because like, they were on Channel Four, so we recorded it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then his parents came in, and he was like, "Uh oh," <laughs> because they know what it looks like. Yeah, it's <laughs> wrestling back then. Like, I'd be embarrassed to watch it now. Yeah. With some of the stuff, like this, just if anyone walks in, this seems like. More than it should be. Yeah. There's a... Uh, yeah, well, which is why there's... The comparison of now, where women are respected for what they bring yeah. to the ring, even yeah. though, like, oh, you get your managers and you get your whoever, right? And they have mm. to be... Most most the majority of women uh, are a particular build. Yeah. <clears throat> because, of like, okay, you got to sell pictures and stuff as well. So, fair, fair enough if you're going to make the money like that, you know. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, they've got a limited shelf life, unfortunately, just yeah, by the exactly. nature of, you know. Yeah, nature of the beast, yeah. Yeah. I mean, men could probably wrestle to their 50s. And some women probably, like, 40s now. 
yeah. before he's back then. One's like your grandparent. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's sad, but it's true, isn't it? It's literally like, well, mm. like the, the way they market them, anyways. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. problem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, um, because they weren't they they you, you, they were less respected for what they could do, and uh, they're more rather... eye candy than yeah, yeah, sadly. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Except for China and 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 Nicole Bass. And they're yeah. young and a fabulous Moolah. Yeah, they were comedy, so yeah, <laughs> they kind of got around it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. But uh, I remember back in the day when China used to be bigger than Triple H. You remember that? Jeez. I wouldn't say she was bigger than Triple H. No? Nah. But when she first appeared? Nah, Triple H was bigger. No, I think if, if, at one point maybe they were the same size, right? No, nah, like if you look at it, because he's yeah. he was back then about two hundred fifty pounds, but he wasn't as ripped as he was later on. Yeah. That's why she looked bigger, but he was. Bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe because she had more. De- she she had more definition. Had le- yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Because he, he probably had more water weight on him and stuff like that. I mean, he got yeah. leaner uh, later and yeah. bigger as well. Yeah, but yeah, um, I actually liked when she, like the era where she was silent and didn't say anything but mm. her mannerisms um like okay she's a silent killer essentially but she you know she'd be able to do stuff like joke around with dx without having to yeah um say anything yeah which is really weird because you're like i mean i'm the i'm but i can participate in the joke <laughs> but yeah. not but, verbally yeah which is cool yeah it's mute- like okay she kind of she she helped them along somehow like amazingly enough without having to do much yeah um, yeah, what would you say her wrestling ability was like though? Um, yeah, again, not until the end where of her career she was actually a good. I won't say good wrestler, but she was <laughs> capable. A word like you actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say when she got to do like when okay when she was facing off against the guys, and you're like, all right, uh, can she tangle with them? That's the one thing. But when you see her work, you're like, mm, the yeah. the build was better. Yeah. That you know when she she'd forearm the guys and whatever she'd get her they make them have their comeuppance. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but then when she she didn't seem so trained. Uh, yeah. To I don't know. Here's the thing, right? With, even if the job is here. They they all trained really well, so it's just whether you you look better than other people, um, because they make things look easy because they yeah. trained so long in it. So unless you're a really really bad, terrible person, I uh, you know wrestler wise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she did well for her <clears throat> time, I would say, because she won the Incarnate title off Chris uh, Chris Jericho, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. She won it off Jeff Jarrett. Sorry. Yeah, she won it off Jeff Jarrett in a good housekeeping match, which is yeah, extremely yeah. sexist. But yeah, yeah. And then she also won it off Chris Jericho. Technically, kind of, she defeated Chris Jericho. Then they won. They they pinned each other. Yeah. With a backdrop or something like that, and they were co-title holders. Yeah. And then he won the title, um, off her in a triple threat match. Yeah. Did she win it again though? I don't think she did because I think after that, a bit later on, that's when she moved on to the women's division. And basically owned that division yeah. because she was because like she couldn't be bothered to work with the women, right? I think there was backlash. Uh, I say backlash, but I think like Ivory said, um, yeah, China was not really because she wrestled the men and got yeah. to a certain level of uh, notoriety. Yeah, he was like, mm, "This is beneath me," sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. which might have been true, but she, I, I'd say. Um, she got pushed more. She got pushed right. Up, it's, it's like when you you get pushed to the top right away, right? Yeah. And then when you get uh, a little bit of a downturn, you're like, "This is beneath me." But it's not really. You actually no. got a, a a very abnormal push. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, no. Logistically speaking, she was a two-time Incarnate Champion because she went could won it with Chris Jericho. Yeah, technically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Ooh, yeah. What did you think of that good housekeeping match? Because, like you said, right? We were like, uh, like, first of all, it's entertaining, actually. Yeah, it's I entertaining. It's entertaining. Yeah. Um, and good on Jeff Jarrett. He's like, you know what? I, I don't. I think it's like, oh, I'll lose to. I don't. Uh, 
pay me the money and I'll job to a woman. It's like, no, man, put effort into the match. It's an entertaining match. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on my way out. And you're telling me to get pinned by China. All right, yeah. fine. I'll do that. I'll do that. You know? Yeah. I don't think, not to say he didn't care, but it's just like. No, 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 no. He, you was, know? he was a professional about it. To be yeah. fair. He could have just went in and just half-assed it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not that. You could have just, you could have just flopped to the floor and uh, pinned him, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I, and the matches with Chris Jericho, where Jericho's, yeah, um, <clears throat> trying. <laughs> yeah. I don't see how um, Chris Jericho had to get a, a hammer and smash China's bum. Yeah. That's then, some of the bits I'm like, this is like, it doesn't age well now. Looking at it like, well, yeah. this is yeah. a bit too much. Yeah. Even for then, really, it's a bit too much, you know? <laughs> oh you... my goodness. Um, I think we do this storyline with um, Mark Henry. Do you remember that? Yeah. Y- yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, mm. You might be fresh in your mind, so you might have to update, uh, correct me on certain things if I've forgotten it, right? Yeah. But, um, Mark Henry had an infatuation with China of some sort, and he's like, "Yeah, we should get together." And she goes, "No, no, no, no." But I got a friend. I got a yeah. friend that you can get with, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, turns out that was a cross dresser of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the end, she gets with Mark Henry. Anyways, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and this then is I the... think it was a long con. It's it's a weird, complicated. Oh, you mean? You didn't mean the, the trust dresser. You mean China. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, no, in the end, he gets with China. After this, yeah, after yeah. that bit. And yeah, then... I thought you meant, I thought you oh, meant no, Mark Henry. No, no, no. Oh. He was like, oh, well, you know what? Pfft, okay, fine. Yeah. Mark Henry going to do what Mark Henry going to do. Yeah. It, it's one of those storylines now. It's very problematic. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. As 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 most things do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this era where they... they, they not, like someone's cracking coke during this time, man. Yeah, yeah, um, four times a day, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. But as far as um, runs go, hmm. she did. The China had a good run during that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a great run. Yeah, uh, first woman in the Rumble. So yep. now you know we get. Um, What's it? Beth Phoenix was in the men, the men's rumble. Uh, yeah. Nia Jax as well. So you know yeah. she's a she's a trailblazer in some respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, had um, yeah. Had they uh, transitioned from Triple H's bodyguard slash valet slash which well enforcer enforcer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, to being the master of the cat. <laughs> yeah, <again. laughs> trying to wearing. Uh, something that says master uh, on her uh, um, top and yeah. the cat wearing something that says slave yeah. and we're like right uh, okay even then um, uh, it's kind of yeah yeah so yes uh, even more problematic because she is about 23 I think in a relationship with Jerry the King Lauder who was uh, in his 50s 50. at that point right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. not I mean yeah, it's, it's just both like consenting adults, but yeah, it's just no, weird. no, no. It, it, it's not that. It's just like he's notorious for yeah, that. Yeah, for yeah, that's what made it even more. Yeah, mm, I mean, if it was a one-off, or like you know, or two, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. yeah. But like it's just like when you're kind of like, nah, my type is that type. Yeah, which is like over younger than half of my. It's, it's a, it's the Leonardo DiCaprio freak, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure at that time she was younger than his son, Brian. Christopher. Yeah, yeah. His yeah. son who he pretend who pretended he's not his son, but he's a big massive fan of, which yeah. I enjoyed. Um, that was hilarious. Because they really look so the same. They're yep. like, like how can you pretend? But then it's like, yeah. Cause <laughs> I didn't get it then. I was like, why is he doing that? What why why like, yeah. but then he's just like, no, he he pretending he's you know, to yeah. the people so he can pretend to be a massive geek out fan. Yeah. Which now you're like, oh, that's quite funny. But back then, you're yeah. like, I'm confused by this. Why would you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Die? Especially since they acknowledge him, his son. <laughs> yeah. Before. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then it seems like he's in denial that it's his son. So he, 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 he's, a, he's a bastard of some sort. Yeah. He's like, mm, okay. Like, hmm. Right. But I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I, get I mean, it now. I get it. Yeah. 30 years later, right. I get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, the, uh, the cat. Um, notorious for. I want to say two things. But they're the same things because, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's that particular. Okay, so 
how do I set the story for this? Um, um, was it a, 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 a okay? So she had a match of I, I think she got put in a title match or whatever it was, right? Yeah. Um, was it an evening gown match? I can't remember exactly what, right? Brian Ta- uh, uh, Brian Panties, I don't know. But then she was like, "Shana, didn't put me in this match," and they're like, "Why?" Because because I don't wear underwear, and I'm like, "Oh no, I don't, it, it was a uh, hot, not hot tub." Yeah, there was a it was some pool match. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then so she won the match, and then she decided that she was gonna take up her top anyways, right? Yeah. Uh, and they said that. So so as she recalls from what I'm reading, hmm. she was told to face a a particular section and take off her top. Yeah. And then Sergeant Slaughter will come in to cover her up yeah, by the time the cameras happens. get there. Yeah. But some something went wrong slightly. Yeah. And she ended up flashing the uh all the viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Who so who knows whether it was done on purpose or not for to pop viewings, right? Um I mean if there's an accident and there's an accident. But still you shouldn't be putting a lady in a position to do that. Nope. Especially I'm gonna say oh not necessarily it's PG or whatever, right? But it's just like that's not what your company is about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, even though you put women in all sorts of awkward positions anyways right um but yeah um if you got anything more to say about the cat um she was because i, I want to shift to, uh, like i've got something that links onto what we said about yeah. lita but but if, yeah so, but i don't want to move away if you haven't finished no all i'm gonna say is yeah she she was women's champion that's all about was that a nepotism one, or was it uh, another nepotism one? It was, it was like three one. women here, by the way, that I've seen on this roster that probably won the title by nepotism. Yeah, she was... <laughs> no, I don't think it was nepotism. I just think because, hey, because oh. she flashed or whatever, we should get rid of the title. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, cool. like, oh, let's... Like, like you know when Cat Uncle got pe- uh, pedigreed through the table that collapsed? Yeah. And they're like, look, man, the guy took the massive bump, got concussed and whatever, right? Not yeah. the massive bump, but, you know, the, the, yeah, the bump yeah, yeah, bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will give him a title run in the middle of the Rocks title one in the perfect position to as a reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Because he continued the match. Um, yeah, which then made Rocky's title runs really short, short. And it's just like, okay, Rock, you can't even hold that title for, you know. Yeah. Oh, the Rock. But, um, so, yeah, speaking about the odd things they did with the uh, the lady. Ah, it's odd things. Um but actually, let me rewind to Trish for just one second, and then we'll go on to Lita. Um, do you remember the... So, she was going to have a match with Triple H, and it was was it against Lita and The Rock? I think so. And then Triple H had to show Trish some wrestling moves uh, in his... in the, in the Because the, it was the Matt Man Helmsley era. Yeah. So they had their own dressing room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she was showing her a hammerlock, and then she he, she had to do the reversal with Triple H. Like, all right, so if you got someone in a hamlock, for some reason, right? Some reason she had to bend over and try and grab his leg from un- between her legs. Yeah, yeah. Pull, yeah. I'm, I'm like, but I've never seen a hamlock reverse like that before, right? Yeah. And obviously at that point, when she's bent over, uh, Stephanie Ryan comes in, and then like, oh, what's going on here and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Stephanie, they're fully clothed. <laughs> Yeah, so Triple H is in his um, jeans and his, you know, uh, leather slash denim jacket thing combo. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, man. oh that's when he was Ultimate Triple H. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, but yeah, so um, going to the Leo thing, right? Yep. Do you, this is when Dean Malenko, back in the 2000s, was try, was the ladies' <sighs> man or whatever yeah. he was. Yeah, and then he'd stalk Lita in the shower. Yeah, which is like okay. I mean, if I remember correctly, though, I might not. So <laughs> she's taking a shower. He the, the camera's far away because like I mean, it, I don't want to say it's tastefully done or whatever, right? But yeah. they, they, you know, it's not going to be like right in at your face when she, she's all the way. She's as fur, she's in the shower furthest away from the camera, right? Yeah. Um. In the ladies' dressing room, wherever they are, because I want to see the ladies' dressing room, but if Dean Malenko's in there, how's he sneaking the ladies' dressing room when there's no other ladies there or whatever, right? Yeah. 
more yeah. questions. And, yeah. and, and, and he's in his wrestling trunks, I believe, right? Not, not anything else. <laughs> so he's just like, uh, all right. Mm. And then he's like shifting the curtain so he could look at him like, wow, all right. <laughs> What 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 is going on here? Um, and I, I I believe at least logically I think she was taking a shower in her thong, right? Which made more sense if you were thinking about look look you would not be taking a shower in any sort of clothing first of all, yeah. No. But yeah. if you're filming this segment, of course you're gonna have something on because yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which was which was better at least than the the way later on. Um, thing with Edge. Oh uh, yeah, but that's ruthless aggression. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. still, I was like, wow. I mean, uh, what are they, what are they, what are they doing there? You know. Yeah. That was. Um, I mean, I'm, like, do you want to explain the story because Edge is your favorite. I want to, like, you explain it from the perspective of an Edge fan. Well, hmm. Or is they just simply no defending it? I mean, no, it's not, not defending you... it. I was thinking because it's not in the actual era, should we bring it up? Or... Well, no, I think, I think I've already tantalised the people with it, so um, <laughs> you, uh... you, you feel it then. Even though him and Lita, when you actually find a backstage story, they didn't, they didn't want to do this, but um, yeah. basically he said if he beat, I think it was it, John Cena, John Cena or Ric Flair, like one or two, yeah. he will do a live sex celebration on Raw. And he won the match, obviously. So him and Lee are um, had to pretend to have intercourse in the middle of the ring, and you could tell they all they feel so awkward about doing this. I, you know, I fast forwarded the segment. I could I was like, I can't watch this. This is, yeah. this is, it's just, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I mean, that's why I, I yes, they were going to be awkward, right? Yeah. But. I did deliberately don't watch it because of that. Yeah. Did you actually sit down and watch the thing? Because no, yeah, I think I did, and even then I was like, "This is super awkward and stupid." And I was yeah. glad when John Cena came out and ruined it. I was like, Thank yeah, God they, they, the, the one thing I remember, the one segment I do remember, is so Edge goes under the covers, right? Yeah. And then, late, uh, seconds later, his head pops out, right? Yeah. With he has, I think he has a bra in his mouth, and he does that double eyebrow raise thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. This is so silly, yeah, but cheesy. So, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't the greatest time. You could tell uh, Lita just doesn't look comfortable doing this whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And then I think she even said later on that if she didn't do it, she wouldn't get fired. Something like that, which is, when you think about that, that's super gross misconduct. Yeah. But yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, because the way that... Oh, so Trish got a good send-off. She won the title on her last match against yeah. Lita, blah, blah, right? Yeah. Lita's last match, on the other hand, oh, which was like goodness. a month later, I believe. Yeah. Got a really bad send-off. Yeah. Because, um... Because she lost the match she was in. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. remember who it was with, but it doesn't really matter. And then, Crime Time come out, who have stole her personal belongings. Oh, I'm quoting personal belongings. Yeah. yeah. And they start trying to sell them to the crowd. Yeah. While they start a chant, she's a hoe or whatever it was. I was like, oh wow, you're this... you're crack hoe or, or, or something, like something like that. And I was like, this is super. Not Did you nice. do you remember the bits that were they were selling? Yeah, like a bra, thong, something. Just just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, it's, it's certain, um, certain, certain. Uh... Yeah. Certain devices as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. It was stupid. Yeah, it was just like, uh, look, the lady's leaving, yeah, and you're like, well, might as well just humiliate her on the way out yeah, after well, all the things you've already done to her. Yeah, she broke her neck for you guys, you know. Twice, and... right? Yeah. No, no, she broke her neck twice. Once for them and once on. Yeah. So did you? Did you? Um. Actually, okay. So I was watching Dark Angel at this time, right? Yeah, I think we spoke and about she, it before as well. Yeah, she yeah. did the Hurricane Run, and I think the stunt woman, who was who was. Who was Jessica Alba's double? Yeah. Crouched down too low before, like she didn't let Leah land on her and tuck in before mm. she started tilting and rolling. Yeah. I think she she kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Yeah. Probably because yeah. she's never taken a hurricane run before, so you got to be like, yeah. <clears throat> and I think just kind of cracked Leah on her own neck. Yeah. 
Yeah, but then I think was it was it the that dive outside the neck when I think Lee it was yeah 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 messed messed her neck up again yeah and plus I think yeah. she's like I'm pretty sure she did her knees in as well during that but so yeah she's yeah. done so much and then you're gonna yeah do that yeah uh, so, let yeah. me point out let me ask right so would you think about her knees what uh what you know when they're wearing the loose uh loose feet, uh camo. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what do you like? Nowadays, when uh, I say nowadays, right? But way back when, when Shawn Michaels was wearing them and um, Rey Mysterio now, yeah, they had to hide the knee braces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A big bulky knee braces. Yeah, yeah. So you reckon Leo was having them, or maybe? Like, are you talking about later on in her career when she's messed up her knees? I think later on, because I think you never know because she always wore those baggy jeans. So yeah, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's probably why later on in her career she done it hmm. all right um okay Deb- deborah mcmichael deborah just deborah i believe they just call her right yeah so first she was the valet for jeff jarrett yep. snap nuts yeah i think she got a guitar-, guitar hit because he was a major so i don't want to say much judgment this basically he's like well i'm gonna slap nuts everyone yeah yeah, yeah. somehow managed to win a match by losing Yep. Uh, win the title by losing the match. Yeah. Because Shawn Michaels reversed the decision and just gave the title to her because she because. was in her underwear. <laughs> yeah, something Even though... like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. this doesn't make any sense, but I, you know, I, I don't think it's meant to. So, no. yeah. Can you bring Project at a time where they would not take it? So this is the stuff where you're like, all right, I don't take it. If they don't take it seriously, I should not take it seriously either. Yeah. And I don't mean like it's a, 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 a take, take a seriously as a, having a laugh about it. It's just like they're disrespecting it. Like it doesn't not deserve my respect. Yeah, it means nothing to them. So why should I care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm. any any uh, other than being the manager of The Rock, and For then three weeks later, weeks. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say three weeks later, but then uh. it's an undefined period of later, a uh, very short period of later. Yeah. Stone Cold's like, nah, that's that. <laughs> You know, that's gonna work for me, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just like in their storyline, but it didn't make sense to involve her, anyways, right? <clears throat> no, it didn't. No. Um. Yeah. Not as if she could do much, anyways. Um. Yeah. I say much, but in the way of like, she's not a wrestler. She. she, she, she yeah. Yeah. What? What? We, I. I mean, I, I think the biggest, the the best, one of the best things she ever did was hit a stone cold over the head with a with the tray of. So I think did she make a t- cupcakes or? Uh, cookies or whatever, and he he was like, "Nah, none of that." And then she hit him over the head with him. I don't remember, you know. Yeah, I I can't remember. And then and then the next week on Raw or SmackDown or whatever it was, the back to normal. It's like, uh, all right, oh, whatever. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then. Oh. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I don't I don't really know uh, anything else for Deborah in my mind. No. Um, other than she was also plagued with a certain chance that were going a particular way. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't understand. How I mean, look like well. she was known for two things. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the chance was for. Great things, evil. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, but here's here's and and as as was, as we're going to mention it, the amount of women in this roster that were implanted. Um, Crazy period. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the company's paying for it back then. So yeah. I mean. Yeah, well, that's that. When you, but you look, look at the, well, you look at the women now, and you look at the women then. You're like, yeah, they they they're definitely trying to have a particular look. Yeah. Um, whereas all shapes, all sizes. Now, yeah, 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 kind yeah, yeah, yeah. of ish to a certain degree. To a certain degree, yeah. Yeah. Um, alternate or even alternative looks, right? Yeah. Because uh, we have Luna for Sean here, who uh, just got made kind of a mockery of. Yeah, even though she was legit, but yeah, just made a mockery. And of and of all uh, like most, I would say, I'd be probably scared to scramble with her than yeah. most of these other women because yeah, she, she looked like scared me as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's vicious. Yeah. Um, well, no, she portrayed that, that viciousness. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know, but, you know, the actual person. Um, but you're like, man, if if I tangle with her, she would tear my throat out with her teeth. Yeah, you know. She was, and she then she couldn't legit. do, yeah, yeah. And then when she finally got to tangle with Sable, yeah. Sable got to do whatever she got to do, and you're like, yeah, right, well, I mean, 
Hmm. Losing broken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, what I remember about Luna is even though she was valet for Bam and Bigger and wrestled some midgets, right? Yeah. Um, that the gold dust thing afterwards. Yeah. And then was she with the other tees? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, yeah. 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 Um, but I think by that time, I mean, there was nothing significant for her. No. Yeah. It was all um, over by that time, sadly. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of, so we'll go to Sable now. Yep. And yeah, uh, I don't... Uh, look. Yeah, Sable. Hmm. Um, what can we say about Sable? Well, she 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 um made a career from her looks. Yeah, and that's not been us being asses and everything. It's no, no, too. that's about <laughs> the, the, the pos- most positive thing I can say um about her in particular. Yeah. Though there was like, oh, your boy Edge. You remember your boy Edge? I think he had this one of his first matches. Yeah, it was it was <clears throat> one of his first like pay per view matches. Yeah, he was her tag team partner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. It was Jackie, was it Jacqueline? It was yeah, Jackie, Jacqueline, it? yeah. Jacqueline and uh, Mark Miro, yep. marvelous Mark Miro. Yeah, versus... versus Edge and Sable. Well, it was Sable a mystery partner, and then the mystery yeah. partner was Edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which and he was his his uh, his grunge grunge maybe vampire maybe mute guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was assaulting people on the on the uh, underground <laughs> yeah. trains for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, and then you had the lady doing the voiceover, and Edge kind of staring like. I don't know what's going on myself, actually. Yep. <laughs> I don't know anything about this gimmick more than you do. So, yeah. yeah, going yeah. On. Um, but I do remember she... They built her up pretty well. They clearly knew who the star was in yeah. that Mark Miro stable faction. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Because he was a wild man, Mark Miro. Yeah. He had the theme music. And then, basically, when he turned into Marvelous Mark Miro... Yeah. And then Sable was uh, on her own or whatever. She split from it. She started using the Wild Man Mark Miro music. Yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah. Uh, she got so much popularity power. Yep. That somehow, right? And, and you think Goku just gets powers up for no reason whatsoever, yep? Yeah. Even though you're going to call it... What's it called? Power of Friendship. No, no. The oh, boost that he gets when he gets beat up. Oh, the Saiyan... Oh, was it Saiyan Pride? No, no, I can't remember. What, can't, can't, can't remember what it's called, but apparently, if, if Saiyans get beat up to the level where they're almost dead, yes, yeah, they get a power up. Yeah, same yeah. pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently, she gets the power, the same power. Oh, the spirit bomb power. That's what. No, not that one. Sorry, I, I missed. I misdirected myself. I meant the spirit bomb power. Oh, okay. Because you know how when the rocks doing the uh, people's elbow. Yeah. And you're wondering how an elbow drop can hurt people, right? And yeah. Keep them down for a free count. It's yeah. because he gathers the energy of the people, right? Yeah. Into that elbow drop that's so potentially powerful that, you know, how many yeah. people have kicked out people's elbow? Anyways, she also has the popularity power like that. A bit like how Wolverine also has popular, popularity power and can beat the, uh, can fight the Hulk on an equal level, which makes no sense. Yeah, it makes no uh, sense whatsoever, but sure. All right. She somehow had the ability to defeat Mark Miro, kind of? Not she that. power bombed him. Remember that? Yeah, I yeah, thought, yeah. To be fair, that was actually really good. That at was that cool. Time when I was watching, but it. like you're saying, so she had the power to be even like Jacqueline, a woman who's yeah. been wrestling for like I think about a good 15 years at that point, yeah. worldwide professional looks, wrestler. Yeah, looks vicious. <laughs> yeah, legit a wrestler as well. But Sable beat her. Yeah. Hmm. Um, okay. I, I, I wouldn't. Would you ever go back, back and watch any stable matches now? No, not, not willingly. Not that we like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I, if I kidnapped you, I forced you to watch it. But my point is to say, I, uh, would you watch it? Like, okay, you watched it back then, right? I mean, yeah. you see, uh, to be fair, <clears throat> the uh, abusive husband storyline with Mark Miro, I wouldn't say it was uh, encapsulating or captivating or anything no. like that. But you know, like her push was quite. Had in so much oomph behind it, right? Yeah, 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 like her push, even like to come back from like abusive husband stuff, like storyline, whatever. Yeah. That's quite like powering, but that as a storyline itself, you think about it, that's really yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. But I the wonder now if I was to watch stable matches, exactly what the type of quality of match will she be having? You know, two minute matches. If I'm probably honest. 
I just remember the one match where I can't remember if she got beat up beforehand, whatever it was, right? Mm. And she had the women's title and uh, she told them to ring the bell against her opponent and then she got beat up and lost the title, right? Yeah. Do you remember that segment? I can't remember exactly. Yeah, but I can't remember was. who she lost it to. Was it Tori? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Actually, Logically, it was, yeah. It was just like, all right, ring the damn bell. All right, uh, you just got jumped backstage, you're selling your back and all that stuff. And he's like, right, so, yeah. All right, if you say so, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's like, um, uh... But, yeah, the power of popularity, um, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, 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 I, I, I don't want to say I'm surprised, that she could do anything in the ring, right? Yeah. But that's not what she was brought in for. And no. I don't know how well she trained for it. Whereas you could say the reverse about Trish. I mean, not the reverse, but you could say like, yes, <clears throat> it's Trish was in a similar situation, but, you know, she she put F into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She wants to be respected. And in the end, yeah, she got it. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think, yeah. like, with Trish, I kind of think she loved wrestling at that point. So that's why she wants to be better. For me, I think... For Sable, I don't know how... This is my just personal opinion. It, yeah. I could be really wrong. She was just in it for the money. Yeah. yeah. Well, may, I, yeah, well... I, I yeah, Well, l- l- let me put it this way, right? Yeah. If she, the less pumps... The, the less bumps that she wanted... That she seemed like she wanted to take... Mm. You know, she would try to take that, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's so, what I think she's more... In it for the money exposure rather than the enjoyment of of the craft. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, though, I mean, saying that, not not only her though, but I think at this point, if if you want you're a fitness model of some sort and you want to take make good money, hmm. you probably be like, oh, okay, let me join the WWF because, well, no, you know, or you might get invited to join the WWF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'd be like, all right, well, that, you know, money's money. Yeah. 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 So I can't knock her for that. No, I can't knock know. her for all. all. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Like, I wonder about her popularity is mm. where I'm going with. So they did, they did, they did frame her... More, I don't want to say more powerful than she was. I mean, she, yeah. <laughs> well, you, there's certain things that are memorable and certain things that are not so memorable and then certain things that you're like, uh, <laughs> why? What? What? what, what was the end game of this particular thing? Yeah, it's like this doesn't make sense, but yeah, 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 yeah. How did we get here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> though, though, to be, I mean, to be fair to her, she was, I want to say, a standout in that time, but only because she was pushed so heavily that she was the face of that division, kind of. Well, no, no, but not really that division because she wasn't. Okay, the face of that section of the women's roster. Is that the best way to put it? Yes. I don't want to make it sound like I'm, I'm you know, yeah. uh, just just trying to. Yeah, I know. You, I get you trying to mean. Ver- you. Verbally, you know, give her some abuse or anything like that. I'm just like trying to phrase it correctly as the way I see it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those weird things. You've got to kind of walk around what you're trying to. No, say. no, no. It's not. No, it's, it's, you mean, it's, it's, like, I get you. Mean. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not like it's not ne- ne- negative or positive. I'm just trying to. It's as straightforward as what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Uh, but uh, to be fair, that's also similar to um, Sunny. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, at that time, I think what wait, it, by the time of the Attitude Era, what was she doing? She was. I think by the time of the Era, she might have been gone. Uh, was she not? No, I, uh, no, 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 no. She was still around because she was the valet for the Legion of Doom, Doom Two Thousand. Which was in 1988. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah. And I think that was probably one of the last things she she, she did. Yeah, I can't remember after that. Yeah, it was, because after that, she went to WCW. Yeah. Yeah. With Chris Gandino, yeah. Yeah. So, um... I don't think she did much during this period of time. Um, Sunny, a.k.a. Tammy Lynn Sitch. No. Yeah. She was like um, weird backstage interviewer sort of thing. Yeah, she really do. Yeah, anything. yeah, no. Well, look, she was there to be there for. <laughs> I was gonna say for particular reasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but more, but yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I think I think she kind of she kind of she she went elsewhere by the time all the other stuff was yeah, uh, yeah, yeah happening, yeah. right? Yeah. So I don't know if that's good for her or bad for her. I mean, maybe she could have got more money, but then again, we're talking about issue, backstage issues that she had, so maybe it was kind of good for her to go um, be away from all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because maybe if she did, she wouldn't be in the situation she would be in now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, not to knock him, but how much of, is Shawn Michaels, like, a part of this uh situation? I don't know, because I think... They had problems from before that, but yeah, yeah. he kind of did contribute a slight yeah. bit to it. But yeah, well, uh, I, I'm I'm not arguing whether he's, he contributed slight or low because we don't know the extent of yeah. it yet. But but he did not help certainly for that. No. Uh, okay. Um, no. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> and, and then and then we we'll move on to Sable's stalker this time. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. Well, no, 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 she wasn't a stalker because she was the uh, Sable fan, right? Yeah, the Uber fan, yeah. Yeah, Terry, Terry. Uh, Tori. Terry with no surname, right? Tori, sorry. Yeah, Tori with no surname, yeah. Tori, no. Yeah, yeah, I'll get mixed up because there's a Terry as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I, what was that? <laughs> what was, I want to say what she about, but more like, I just remember she was, she... Did she attack someone like Luna, Luna during the Sable match? Uh, what was her backstory? She jumped someone in the crowd. No, yeah. she came from the crowd. She jumped someone. I want to say Jackie or even Luna yeah. by that time. It might be one of those yeah. two. It yeah. wasn't Lita, I know that, because Lita came a bit later than that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was yeah, I, do, I remember she had some sort of... I don't know, I want to say Tiger slash Jaguar style... Yeah, some uh, weird is... kind of I want to say Thundercat inspired suit before they got their Thundercat suits when they were weirdly naked. Yeah, but not naked because they didn't have any genitals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that. Got yeah, this that, like you say, this was like okay. If you, I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Right? None of it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> but also I do remember she got with Kane somehow. Yeah, and then they made up. Okay, this is this will contradict. I think they were saying that it's Kane's first girlfriend, even though. Yep. And then contradicts Katie Vick, but then again, how much does WWE care about their own continuity at this no. point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Who 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 knows exactly what? But then, anyways, she betrayed Kane for X Pack. Yeah. Even and though then... X Pack, like I'm pretty sure he spat her at one point and gave her. Um, the X Factor, yeah. The X Factor or the Bronco Buster? Probably both. It's all. It, it's oh, it's one of those long cons of wrestling that I don't, I never understand. When I'm gonna get beaten up by these people just to betray you and then say, show you, haha, I was with them all along. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The thing where, you, where, like, okay, logically speaking, if if we people were in a match and they were a team, right? Yeah. And they were going to betray the other... Like, if you've got a tag team match and then your tag team partner is going to betray you and you've got the two people in front of you, yeah? Yeah. So, then your tag team partner should avoid ever tangling with them. Yeah. Directly. Yeah. Uh, but, but still making it look like they're going to tag you instead of yeah. fighting them, right? Quote, unquote. Doing damage to them and then they turn on you at the end. Yeah. What's if that was the logic of it, you know? Yeah. Never if anything, any I mean, yeah, that, that doesn't make any, yeah, <laughs> whatever, whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can't remember 100 percent any any other stuff that she was doing. Neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, the, that's the thing, isn't it? Because yeah. I mean, that's not just on her. It's just no. like some of the stuff we remember is not good stuff. No. Right. Um, and some some sort of things you significantly you remember it, and then you just everyone is you you just. Don't remember the people that get pushed to wayside because they're just not being concentrated on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, 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 or there's no <sighs> something to draw your attention, whether yeah. negative or positive. You know. Yeah. No continuity either. Yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, Jacqueline Moore. Would you Would you remember from this lady at this time? 
quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. She was obviously brought in by Mark Marrow to replace Sable. Yeah. And then that all happened. Yeah. And then I think she had a good, t- like, sort of run on her own because she became, she was like woman champion like once or twice. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, that might, even though I don't think that was Attitude Era, but she beat Chavo for the Cruiserweight title, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would have been, yeah, yeah, that would have been after because it's the Cruiserweight yeah. title. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, Jackie was good. I like Jackie. And then she went to TNA and done stuff as well. Yeah, no, she was yeah. good. Well, look, like, like, I mean, she just seemed like one of the more capable women at the time. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I think, a good way of putting it. Like, it's a good way of putting it. And, like, because she wasn't, I personally think, because she wasn't what they considered at the time sexy or whatever, that's why she didn't get pushed as much as she should have. Yeah. Because, like we said, so, she was uh, an actual wrestler. Yeah. Though, though she, um, she was larger than most women. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, augmented, I will say. Yeah, yeah, of course. Which yeah. made me not take her seriously in the sense that it's like, oh, she could do stuff, but she looks a bit too much. Mm. Kind of. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I get, you know, in some ways, she, she knew what she, her, her, her draw was, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Um, but yeah, um, I do, I do remember stuff like her and Terry, Terry Runnels teaming up, right? Yeah. As uh, PMS, the yeah, Pretty yeah. Mean Sisters, what yeah. that about? Yeah. Um, yeah. And who are they turning on? I think Terry turned the Gold Dust, yeah. So she set Gold Dust up for the, the Shadow Dreams. Yeah. Um, Terry turned on uh, Mark Miro, was it? I think so. And then, uh... oh my goodness, that leads on to uh, the them and Sean Stasiak, aka yeah. Meat. There was someone else as well. Because I yeah. think it was, I'm pretty sure there was three of them, plus him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh Ryan and Shamrock, right? There we go. Yeah, 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 <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah, he he was he yeah, uh, a, a piece of meat, which kind of is funny because of how they would portray the women, and then they're like, "Yep, yeah, okay, well, we're gonna do a role reversal here." Yeah, which was pretty funny. Like, how that makes sense. Yeah, and then and then and he had that match on Heat with the big boss man. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna sit, like a storyline like that nowadays. I think would work much more because they'll take it more seriously. Yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to say it's more. They'll probably be more clownish, and then you like can't take it seriously. But um, the ladies spikes his drink with Viagra or something like that because they just kept using him. Yeah, and uh, big boss, and he then had to wrestle a match. In his trunks, uh, and uh, yeah, big boss man used the, the nightstick, <laughs> yes. uh, and then pinned him. And I was like, right, right, okay, sure. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. I mean, I'm watching it. If I watch it now, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Back then, I'm like, yeah, but none of this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like this is this is wrestling. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, and this is the period when everyone was saying, oh, this is the best period in wrestling. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're overlooking a lot, dudes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If it happened in WCW on the other hand, towards the end of the uh, yeah th- that company, then all right, yeah. I, I probably could accept it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no. but um, yeah, yeah. Out. Speaking of uh, Ryan Shamrock, aka, what did she go to? Which when she went to WCW, what was she called? Maestro, Maestro's assistant or whatever. Oh. Uh... Something like I want to say Muse was Symphony. It? Symphony was there it? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, famous for what? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't even remember her for <laughs> one the one storyline that she had with Al Venus and Ken Shamrock. Yeah, um, yeah. When when he he uh, he was uh, making his uh, you know next video, um, shaving Ryan's privates or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like Val Venus full of innuendo, anyways. So yeah. Um, you know, you have a Gucci stands wife. We know about choppy choppy your pee pee. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And 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 uh, yeah, didn't he have a? He caused Goldust to have that mental breakdown to turn back into 
wait, the artist formerly known as Gold Dust, aka Dustin Runnels at the time or whatever. Yeah. Um and uh, yeah, he caused uh, he had an affair with Terry with all those odd skits that you're like, um hmm, I'm yeah. I yeah. saying the same to watch in front of your family because no. they clearly did not drop those contact lenses. Well, she no. did clearly not drop those contact lenses that she's looking for while she, he's asking her about when she's out of the frame of the yeah the camera. It's all terrible. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, look, that stuff. Like, like you say, you, you, if you play it so over the top, it's funny. But then at a time when it's like quote unquote peak era, and you're like, this is cringe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, watching it now, it's funny, right? But, yeah, yeah. With 2023 glasses on, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, that's because I think when we look back and think this is outrageous, this is so outrageous, it's hilarious. Rather than yeah. this is this is humor for the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Um, but yeah, yeah. T- turned him back into gold dust, and that was. And then she had the uh, Terry Intervi- Invitational Tournament. Yeah. The TIT. Ooh, yeah. ooh. <laughs> right. Uh, with the Hardy Boys and yeah. uh, and Edge and, and Christian and, and Christian. whoever won the. A ladder match she would be the manager of. Yeah. Even though she's like, I don't want to say she's twice the age of the people on the team because I'm uh, like, you know, but I'm, I'm exaggerating, of course. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like, yeah, it's a massive age gap there. So I wonder if actually he was. Well, uh, I'd probably say in 10, at least 10, 15 years, probably. I wouldn't say 15, maybe 10. Really? Uh, let me see. Where was she well, you remember the Hardys were, okay. In 1996, I do believe Jeff was 16. All right, she's 56 now. Yeah, and and Matt's probably 42, right? No, Matt's nearly 50. Is it? Yeah. Okay. He's born 1974. Don't ask me why All I right. know that. But um, okay. So yeah, he's 48 now. So yeah, well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Eight years. How many? How old is she? 56 as of. Oh, now. you know, you know, what it probably is then. Uh, because she'd been around for Ages. a while longer than them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you just assume that, she, you know, it's like when you look at certain promos and you look at The Rock talking to Christian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're, my, you're a big fan. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um, yeah, you're trying to be the, the peeps and stuff like that. Yeah. And you think The Rock must be good five. Yeah, six seven years. Seven years older. Yeah, Christian? yeah. He's only like yeah. two years older. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, stuff like and that. And then when The Rock's talking to Chris Jericho, you're like, oh, hold on a minute. Chris, <laughs> Chris Jericho's Jericho. actually older than The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> it is so hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. But yeah, I think I think, I think her, her transition to be more backstage. Yeah. Uh, Terry's transition, <clears throat> I think, made a bit more sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember, I remember about her is that she... Was with Perry Satin, and Satin had to choose either her or Moppy, Moppy. and he chose Moppy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "All right, <laughs> well, I well. mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah." I, 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 put, I mean, hey, look, he's he's already crazy, so yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I guess it makes sense. All right. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Ivory. Ivory, another woman yeah. who I really liked, who had her moments in the sun, which is pretty cool, but. Again, got overlooked because she wasn't what they would call. Um... She wasn't dolled up. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she was good. She was really good. Yeah, uh, I did. I did like her right to the censor gimmick. Yeah, that's probably actually one of the more memorable things I remember about her. Yeah, same. Because she then she looked like she looked like a headmistress. <laughs> yeah, her, like, or a harsh librarian or one of them long... like. Skirt yeah. and all super that, long yeah. skirt, all the way to you know, just like yeah, I ain't gonna show no leg, no nothing like that. No. And then and then uh, preach them sermons and whatnot about how these attitude is uh, corrupting the youth of uh, society and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, um, and didn't she come back into one of the rumbles a couple yeah. of years ago? Come if it was the yeah. first female rumble, or was the second? Yeah, but she came back. That was pretty cool. So, oh, so... Yeah, love yeah. to see her. Yeah, oh, she's great. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but she, I, I didn't like how she basically China squashed her. Yeah, I, d- I didn't like that. That was. You know, it was just one of those things. Like, give the lady a some sort of chance to fight you or yeah. something like. I mean, make her look like make her look like you're putting some effort into the match rather than you can't be bothered with the match. Yeah, it's like 
I can't be bothered with the person is kind of different from yeah. the match, but she's just like trying to look like she couldn't be bothered with either. Yeah. Because you, know? you, you can still have a good match with a person you don't like. Yeah. But it just like, like we're saying though, she was like, she acted like she was above everything. Yeah. Like, oh, that's not nice, is it? Mm. Yeah. Great. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's like, one of, like, did you watch a lot of Ivory matches? Would you be like, okay, first of all, of all the women we've been speaking about, right? Yeah. When their matches came on TV at the time, did you watch any of those? Probably, but I, to be honest, I don't. Re- I probably won't remember any of them. That's how okay. much, like, how long they probably were as well. You know, just two minute long things. Oh, great, cool. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't. I can't remember. Yeah. What do you re- do? You recall of um about Nicole Bass? Um, she was there one minute, gone the next. Yeah, and did, did <clears throat> Val Venus, did she try to, was it, I, I can't remember how she got brought in there, right? But I do believe she was trying to make out of Val Venus and yeah. wanted him to make special videos with her. Yeah. And he was like, nah, nah, mate, nah. Yeah, it was something really, oh, she came out at the end of one match of his. Yeah. I can't remember who it was against. And then, yeah, and then they did that weird promo where he's like, yeah, she was like infatuated with him and she wanted him to make weird videos with him. And then he was like, no. Then I think she had one match off of that, and that was it. Yeah, and I don't think she was um, particularly good. any good. No. But it, hold on a minute. Am I, am I just remembering something? Yeah, I've got to just double check something. But you know when. Um, who was it? Oh, maybe. maybe No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Nicole Bass, right? Hmm. But uh, it's probably Nicole Bass is female, equ- uh, female equivalent. Um, Nicole Bass's alternate clone or something like that. Where okay, so in TNA, yeah, was it Gail Kim and uh, so Gail Kim was always interfering with the Jeff Jarrett matches, you know, to help him win. Yeah, and then AJ Styles and is it Calzarian? I can't remember. They mm. oh was it or was it Christopher Daniels? They had to bring a uh, someone. Oh, it was AMW matches, and uh, they brought someone to equal the playing field. And it was another female bodybuilder of some sort. I was don't it? think it was a cold bass, was it? I remember Jackie being with America's Most Wanted. I can't remember. Oh, was it Jackie? No, because Gail Kim, well, I think this was the time when they were still with... No, no. No, no. You, you're getting... Uh, I want to say slightly mixed up, but they were <coughs> Gail Kim during this period. And then James Storm turned on Chris Harris, I think. And then he got he was with Jackie. Or did they kick Gail Kim out at this point? You. I can't remember yeah. if I'm honest with but, you. But um, whoever they got, I can't remember the exact replacement of, of um, whoever AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels got reminded me of Nicole Bass. I think it was just both with the size of the lady and then she wasn't particularly great, which in in ring, which reminded me of Nicole Bass as well. Oh, I really can't yeah. remember. Yeah, do, you, do you remember anything, recall anything about Nicole Bass other than she was probably just as big as China? No, I, I I do recall that she is dead, but um, yeah, I'm not. All right, that's not okay. That's I not know. what I was. I know. <laughs> cause I, I don't know what just, I was going with that. It's only because I just quickly Wikipedia it, but um, I can't remember anything else. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, 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 I do recall that she not, did not uh, flaunt her as much herself as much as um the other females. No. Right. But considering she was a female bodybuilder doing the them Olympic competitions, mm. you'd have thought. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Where you're like she's pro- she's not. You she's obviously gone on stage with like whether they wear on the female bodybuilding stage. So yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. But you know, hey, whatever. Um, yeah. Um, so, were you when you talk about when the belt from despotism? Did you mean Stephanie McMahon? Yeah, yeah. Even though it, I got it, it was actually part of the story. I was just making a joke, but her getting yeah, the belt yeah, yeah. part of the story so, yeah, made sense. Yes. Oh, by the which reminded me, which something I record. I have to recall way back now because I, I forgot to finish the punchline of it. Yeah. The when when uh, Triple H was teaching Stephen, uh, sorry, uh, Trish Stratus the hammerlock. That's because they are having a match. Oh, it's Lee and the Rock, yeah. It was Lee and the Rock versus Stephanie and Triple H. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. And then 
Did Triple H get pinned? No, on, did Trish get pinned? And then The Rock hits Triple H with a chair afterwards, and he fell on top of Trish Stratus. And then they looked uh, rather suggestive. I think so. Yeah. And then, and then, and then the rock obviously just laughed. Yeah, um, being, uh-huh. the rock being the rock, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, all right. Sure. I mean, yeah, but that, but that, but but then, rock character, by the way, yeah, would hit women. Not to call it like rock character will hit everyone because he's the rock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was a Stone Cold character when he fight when he gave uh, China a stunner, you know. Yeah, but well, China. I think it's. Game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but I think it's like, it, it, yeah, I suppose, right? Yeah. Um, but when he stand, when he when he beat up Lita, that was another uh, another thing. Yeah, it's a um, story. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, which is strange because you like some some of these characters, some of these guys wouldn't fight the women because they they I want to say respectful of them. Yeah. 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 Or you know, into you know, they like hit women, whatever, right? And yeah. some of these characters, you know, the most popular people just hit the women and they don't care. It's like, uh, yeah. I mean, not to say you get a free pass, but it's just like, huh? Yeah, it's like that's you're the good guy. Yeah, it's like... yeah, yeah. Well, you could say equal rights. Well, you know, yeah. I treat them with respect because I respect them as individuals. Yeah, with non, you know, no gender specific whatever, right? Yeah. Okay, I suppose. Yeah. But <laughs> but still, even then, even then, it's a bit like I don't know about that. Yeah, it's like when you like saying it now, it's like. The Rock's meant to be like the uber, uber baby face, a good guy. Yeah. And you're going to rock bottom a woman. Mm, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> good I... Yeah, I, I laugh at it, but yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's exactly it. Like, oh, wow, um, that's what did you think of um, Stephanie's wrestling abilities at the time? Um, at the time, there was none. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Over the years, she's got better. Yeah, and I've like later on, I've enjoyed like Stephanie matches, like when she's teamed up with Triple H at the WrestleMania a couple of years ago and stuff like that. I and think that... I think it helps with uh, she's got more character to work with. Yeah, in the yeah. ring now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like she's always been great on the mic. Well, I want to say always. She like... knows how her character. She knows her character inside out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it helps during like 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 with Hogan matches, with yeah. some wrong some rock matches as well. It's yeah. like. You don't need that athleticism, no. If you can carry the match with your non-wrestling abilities, yeah, yeah, your performance, yeah. Uh, though cool. you do have to have some basic skill, otherwise, pink things look terrible, and you get you get this, you'll get the flack for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what do you do? You remember anything about Victoria? Other yeah, man. Than her Victoria, music? I loved her. Yeah, man. Because yeah. she was legit. There's another one who was legit. She had a, that tattoo theme music, so yeah. oh, that's like a lesbian theme music. But then, was that even? I know that's like kind of Rufus Aggression era, but yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. With Victoria Attitude Era? I think maybe Fringes ish. I don't. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Hold on. So, no, 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 no. She's, uh, she's Rufus Aggression. Rufus Aggression. Oh, okay, okay. I was yeah. going to say, all right, right. Well, as I started, right? I'll just say this bit. Yeah, carry on. Now. Um, She. Was she one of the Godfather's hoes? Yep. Was that also Lita one of the Godfather's hoes before she was Lita? Yep. Lita. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, so. Actually, China no, no, no. And... Lita wasn't. Lita wasn't. Okay. All right. Uh, so China and Eddie Guerrero were having. This was in 2003, was it? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I did miss it. I did miss it. Anyways, um, was it 2003? No, I think before that, because um, China wasn't in the um, the Rufus Aggression era. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Wait, hold on. when she, when did she China have a storyline with Eddie Guerrero? I want to say two thousand one, two thousand. I think it no, was no. before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was before the invasion angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah. So they were having a relationship. Then they were having their relationship troubles. Yeah. And then Eddie's like, "Oh, believe me, you never. I'll never cheat on you, Mama Sita." Yeah. And then somehow this mysterious video plays on Titan Tron, where Eddie Guerrero is getting out of the shower with yeah. uh two of the Godfather's hoes, yeah. one of them being Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. she comes back again later as one of uh someone else as well. I think a hoe again. Yeah. And yeah. Then she became then, the greatest. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think I think she didn't get her, the respect that she. Well, no, no, she got a decent amount of um, screen time. I think. Yeah, because she was like, I'm pretty sure she was like four times women's champion yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. But you reckon they should have highlighted her more? I don't know because she got when she was. I'm pretty sure twice she was at WrestleMania and she was women's champion. So I yeah. Think, yeah, she got. They could have. Yeah, they, I'm always gonna say they could have highlighted her more because I was a really big Victoria fan. Yeah, but um, they I would never I would never say they did her dirty or anything like that. Yeah, because she was always about. Yeah, and then she even got like a good when she left t- to go T and A. She actually yeah. got like a good send off and everything. So yeah, yeah, I yeah, think um, her, right. She should be in the <laughs> yeah. fame, but I mean, like, look, look, it, it's just, it's just, it's just odd when you look at it and you're like, some people put a lot of effort. And they just get disrespected. Yeah. And then some people you're like, yeah, all right. I mean, like, you know, did you didn't do you didn't you weren't the focus of our division. But you know, we'll we'll let you go out uh, with your hands up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw you a wild card and see if you. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna throw you a wild card and see if you remember this person. Yep. Yeah? All right. Former women's champion, by the way. Uh, okay, Harvina. Yeah, Harvey Wilman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <sighs> what was that about, eh? What was that about? It was when they just didn't care. Yeah, this is as so, bad as a Santino. Santino? Yeah, yeah, but at least Maybe he did worse. not win the women's title. To be, but he won the won the women's rumble, which was like yeah, they both were yeah. par with each other, really, ain't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but one lasted longer than the other. Yeah. At least one was meant to be for comedy purposes. One wasn't. Yeah. Uh yeah, I have to say I don't know where they were going with this specifically. No. Um but yeah, they dry- dressed half a Wolfman in drag and uh he yeah, he somehow managed to win the women's title, which was a very strange Did he he be he won it off of Jackie, didn't he? No no Jackie won it from him. Okay. He won it off the cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes it slightly better, I guess. All right, I'm gonna throw you another one out of uh, nowhere because I don't remember. I don't recall the. I don't remember some of this, but not uh, enough of it. Right? I mean, I don't think that was a lot, anyways. Do you remember the the, the ambulance lady called BB? Yeah, I remember BB. Yeah. Yeah. All okay, of can you weeks, give me yeah. some? Can you give me some information, and I'll I'll, I'll see. You know, because uh, I don't recall a lot about her. Oh, I'll tell you literally in two sentences. She appeared one day to help, I can't remember, someone out the ring who needed medical assistance. And then I'm pretty sure storyline, this is storyline, I could be very wrong, that they hired her because she was attractive. This is in, like, not from real life, this is story. This is like okay. Yeah. And then she did, I think, like, two things, and she appeared, like, in a multi-man tag or something like that. And then that was M- it. Multi-female tag, right? Yeah. And that was it. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was like, okay, sure. And then and then she became a uh, what's it called, mum, right? Oh, Eva Cleaver. Was that her? I I, I think so. I, I I say I think so, but I'm not sure. I think you might be right. I hope. No, be. no, he wasn't. He wasn't Beaver Cleaver. It was Beaver Cleavage, right? Yeah. Yeah. What was that about? <sighs> what was yeah? What was going on there? Wrestling makes me sad sometimes. Uh, oh Jesus! Yeah, I mean, I never, I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're like, all right, well, I can't defend. But look, look, to be, this is a notorious time in, uh, particularly for females for wrestling. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Um, ups and downs all over the place. So hey, yeah, yeah. it wasn't great. <laughs> it took, no, no, I have to say, I have to say, this did. Would you say this era did a lot of damage to women's wrestling? Yup. <laughs> and it took what? How many years would you say to for it to recover? Um. So we'll say this is 1997. So it took nearly wait, 20 wait, years. 1997 to like 2000 and wait, hold on. Would you say 1997 to? 2000-ish or something? Yeah, say 2000-ish. Yeah. 
Because, like, yeah. actually, no. Yeah, the 2000 is. So it kind of got better with the Trish and Lita stuff. Yeah. And then after that, it took a big dip again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, would you say it took a big dip? Or would you mean, like... <laughs> okay, how, how, how do you mean by that? After that, when they kind of split the... When they had the um, women's title and the Divas title... And oh, then they okay. merged them into one. All right, yeah. I thought you said. I thought you meant like you know what? At least, uh, at least this period of time, they had the ladies with the looks, and then it when they tried to bring the ring quality back up without certain, you know, with yeah. I, I, I that's why I was trying to get you to define it because I wasn't I wasn't sure how you meant it, uh, what you meant. That you know, I was trying. I was like, uh, "Does he mean this or that or whatever?" Right? Oh no, because even like they had like good for the looks and stuff during like yeah. the diva period. Yeah, but they were just sub. They were like surrogate this- to like bathroom break matches and stuff like that. And just- yeah, I think they 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 took it more su- like they 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 were treated better. Yeah, they were treated better, but but their spots on the card were still the period of like, look, we've done so much damage to them, right? Yeah, that we've conditioned the people not to care about them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, yeah, that so they have some uphill battle to yeah. now regain the attention of the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, or audience or whatever, right? Yeah. And we also have an uphill battle because of what we've done. Yeah. Which was, Dug the hole yeah. very deep, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah. When when did you start watching women's matches again? Um, I always kept kind of kept an eye on it because like Mickey James was still there for a while. This is like in yeah. the mid two thousands, and then and when Beth Phoenix was there as well, I kind of kept an yeah. eye on it, and then it kind of fell off. It wasn't too literally the women's division in NXT where I kind of got back into watching women wrestling. So that's like 2012, 2013. Oh, really? Because I think for me, there was like, oh yeah, there's bits and pieces. But then it was like, it was when TNA took the women's roster seriously. Yeah. Was when I was starting to get, I was like, okay, they're bothered, you know? Yeah. And it it actually seemed like, right? (laughs) Gail Kim, they they built a division around. They they were like, you know what, Gail Kim has been loyal to us and stuff like that. Yeah, we should build a division around her because she's good. Yeah, but yeah. then but like... it wasn't literally like let's make a title to give to Gail Kim. You know, yeah, they actually I, got a decent uh, roster. Because it was, but then I kind of when they started bringing the women's title, the women's tag titles, yeah. that in that early period, it was just literally like a mixed match of different people. Yeah, I kind of like yeah. yeah, you don't really care to be fair, do you? And well, not, kind of... probably not for the tag titles anyways, right? Yeah. But then that was, like, shown more at the time. So I was like, I, I don't really care for this evil. So yeah. then I kind of dipped up a TNA then as well. So it was like, oh. yeah. wasn't until... Uh, even with TNA, when I started getting back into the, the knockout division, wasn't until about 2014, I think, 2015? I think had, it was like, the... Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And then... <sighs> kind of transitioned to the NXT women's division. Yeah. 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 We had like Bailey and Mercedes Monet, um Becky Lynch, <laughs> Charlotte Flair. Yeah. Um Call yeah, her yeah. Name. Becky Lynch being the typical Irish gimmick, which yeah, is like so mm, offensive now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming out dressed Doing in jig. leprechaun <laughs> colours and then do the uh Irish what's jig. it called? The the Irish jig. Yeah. You're like I don't yeah. I was like, really? And then wow. you look at her now and you're like yeah, you kind of you look vi- you look like you're Viking, right? Or you know, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, and you like way back then, you're like, mm. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's super offensive, you know. Yeah, oh. um, but yeah, oh, it, see, here's the thing, right? Mm. The women's roster back then, you could probably divide it into the section of actual wrestlers and yeah. people there for their looks. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the people there for their looks are going are outnumber the wrestlers so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder why they had to give the title to people that were there for the money. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Yeah, it's, that um, hard. it's bad to say, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we missed two special members of the Attitude Era out, um, probably deliberately, but you know, I'll bring them up now: May Young and Fabulous Muller. 
Oh, May Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May Young was cool. Not going to speak at the old lady, but yeah, yeah, yeah. May Young well, cool. you know what? I mean, I think she was a bit of a danger to herself because she'd taken top rope, uh, she'd taken top rope power bombs and stuff like that at yeah, her age. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? That's crazy stuff. It's crazy. Um, I, I super respect her for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but she, she, like, as far as her, she's concerned, there's memorable stuff about her because she seemed to be game for anything. Yeah, yeah. Which you probably shouldn't be at the no. age that she was at, at her time. age. No. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I said game for anything as well, personality wise, because she gave birth to um, uh, uh, Mark Henry's hand. Yeah. Uh, Mark Henry, not Mark Henry's hand, was it? No, her. Own... She gave birth to a hand, which would have been Mark Henry's child. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know, but I want to know when that when that hand made an appearance, like twenty years later. Yeah. That was there was no black in that hand. No. <laughs> what was the other? We did also forget about Molly Holly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, aka Miss Madness, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez. Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember she sense. lost. A... Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Um, this was around in the nineteen ni- around nineteen ninety, where Matching Man came out, and he had. Did he have Medusa with him as well? I think no, Gorgeous George, Gorgeous right? Gorgeous George, yeah, yeah. So you had Gorgeous George and Molly Holly, yeah. Um, to to as all good magicians do, right? Yeah. Or all elderly wrestlers, yeah. They they have their valets to distract the crowd from the um, low quality of drawing work. Yeah, yeah. So you know, if that was his tactic, fair enough. I mean, hey, look. But it they're, they're getting old. <laughs> but he was still quite. I don't know. It was weird. It just made no sense. Yeah, yeah. But she was, she was, she was highly capable as well. Yeah. Um, Mighty Molly as well. So that's the other bit I remember yeah, her that's about. More... Yeah. That's um, after the invasion, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah where where she's uh, you know, one of the Holly cousins from out of nowhere. But yeah. Uh, and I don't remember she got head shaped as well. Yeah. For yeah. Some yeah. Uh, yeah. In a match against Victoria at WrestleMania, I yeah. would say seventeen. Yeah. yeah, but she was one of the more capable ladies because yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, she had her finish the Molly go round, which is like, yeah. which is like a front flip, so, 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 front a front a front sit ish. Yeah, and yeah. I do remember she done it off the big show's shoulders at one point. Oh wow! On Lance Storm was it? I think Lance Storm took it. Maybe, maybe. Oh, um, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's that's, that's like <laughs> I think that's when you, you like that's how you re- I want to say recognize the people that are capable of doing stuff and the people that aren't so capable because the the they're all about the same build and weight ish. You know, yeah, like yeah, when yeah, you get yeah. the cruiserweight guys and then you get the non cruiserweight guys who can't do certain things yeah. except for freaks of nature like Brock who could do. She I say he can do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. but then when, the one time he did it on the big stage, he, he nearly broke his own neck. Yeah, and he's like, never um, again. By sheer power <laughs> of those uh, Brock Lesnar traps that he did not. Right. Yeah. Madness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he just, he just. I think he just con. He only just concussed himself, but That's you know, realistically, he just concussed himself. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He, he should have. In all realities, he should be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah the only reality that he is dead is. Our reality, is yeah. that what you're saying? <laughs> Where he survived. No, I think actually to be fair though, I think in all realities Brock Lesnar would survive because he's actually this is <laughs> another theory I have. Like, um oh, Brock Lesnar, he has no different there's no other Brock Lesnar's, he's just one through all the universes. <laughs> That's how you're I saying, think of Brock Lesnar. You're saying he's the America Sanchez of the. Uh, of yeah, the, he, he's that anomaly. The... He's the only, only him out there. Oh, just like uh, what's it? What's the other one? The Phoenix girl. I forgot her name. Um, I hope was it? Or well, Rachel Summers? Rachel Summers, right? Wait, wait. I think wait. Is it? I can't. I think there, is there any one version of the 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 Phoenix version of Rachel Summers in all of the Marvel realities? I think so. Yeah. In either case, in either, either case, case, yeah, it, that's probably it, even it, we diverge from there to there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe case yeah, um, it's just one Brock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, yeah. 
from the damage done by this, uh, just to recap, I, I, yeah, I couldn't be bothered with winning matches in a long, long time. Yeah. Even when you read the matches, like, like, oh yeah, rave reviews and stuff like that. From even because, like, even if they don't watch stuff nowadays, you just you just have a quick look online to see, you know, um, to catch up with certain things. Yeah. Because you can't watch everything. No. Um, yeah, and I just for a while I'd be like, nah, I can't bother to check those out, even if it's really good. Yeah. Nowadays, I will check those stuff out if it's really good. Like, I, I would say women's matches in particular, but I'm just saying uh, it's just one of those things where, like, I actually will try to see stuff. Yeah. Um, women's matches where I never used to back in, you know, the time, the many, many years ago. Yeah, same. Yeah. Um, I, would you say the, the ladies are more capable now, better now, or how, how would you, how would you put it? I think they get treated with more respect now. Yeah. Because they realise that women's wrestling is a, like there's money to be made out of it. It's true. It's true. Do you think um, they could focus more on the division, or do you think they give them actually a decent amount of um, airtime? I think give them a decent amount of airtime. Yeah, yeah. But do you, okay. So the do you like the fact that they have a, a female rumble match and a men's rumble match? I think that might be too too much. Not necessarily saying cut the women's match. It's just like, whichever match is relevant for the time, because you don't need two Rumble matches in one pay-per-view. Yeah, I it's a bit... think you do. Yeah? Yeah, because like, obviously, like, to be treat everyone equal, you sort of need that. So, as like, WrestleMania is like, two nights now, you get like, the women one, they get to main event one night, men get to main event another night. So uh, okay, you kind of enough. need that. I was, or... yeah, well, I, yeah, I mean, like, you could have a, Another gimmick multi women match kind of it's just it's just because the rumbles are like an hour each, you yeah, know? yeah, and it kind of I don't want to say it dilutes what's special about the rumble, but it's just like you don't have the women's roster to do a rumble like that, yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you did it like with 20 people, fair enough, yeah, but you certainly do not have 30, um, even from across the four of the four three brands they have. No, of course, the they, three brands they have, they got more than enough, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, but they never they never seem to bring... They never seem to bring some, like, uh, callbacks and, and people, like, that haven't been around for ages. And you're like, yeah, but these women ain't likely to win the Rumble. do the same for the males. So it's kind of like the I mean, Rumble... It's true. It's true. I, yeah, it's, it is true. Um, yeah, it is true. Um, like, that's what people watch the men's Rumble for. Like, oh, who's going to make a return? Blah, 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 all that yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? So, it's true, it's true. I, don't, I guess it's more like you shouldn't do the same things twice within an hour of each other. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's where I'm going with it. Um, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that, that works. But um, you know what I have to say is probably, yeah, what who got me back into WWE women's matches is probably watching Oscar. Kicking the crap out of everyone. Yeah, but I was into it before the way. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I was in it I was from like... the it was a fatal four way match at one of the NXTs. Yeah, and I pretty yeah it was Becky no it was, it was yeah Becky Sasha Charlotte sorry Becky Mercedes Monet um Charlotte and pretty sure it's Bailey. And it's when Sasha pinned Charlotte for the title. Uh, all right. Yeah, and that was an awesome match. And then... Were they meant to be friends during that period of time? Nah, this is before we all knew they were, like, super close. No, no, as in, as in, were they friends during that time and they they they, they, they backstabbed the other one? Or was it they nah, were they were friends before like... that. It was in the BFFs. Yeah. It was her. It was Mercedes, Charlotte, and Summer Rae. Uh-huh. And then Summer Rae got called up to main roster to be Fandango's valet. And then yeah. I think Charlotte turned... No. And then Mercedes turned on Charlotte. Yeah. And Charlotte was champion for a while. And then they had that match. And then Charlotte... And then Mercedes won. Yeah, yeah. It was a really good match. If you, I can't remember what takeover it was. But I'll say if you've got a chance, give it a watch. All right. Well, I'll probably have to find it somewhere. Yeah, um, I did watch some of the ma- some of the matches I did watch on NXT was uh, Becky versus Sasha or Mercedes now <laughs> if we're gonna call her that. Yeah, I'm gonna call her that. Now. Where Becky was the lackey and then uh, you know they they the, when she lost the match because I think she was the lackey but I think in the storyline she she was like no nah, uh, Sasha I've had enough of you um, 
always always you know trying to always making me trying to be your full person or whatever yeah and then she had a match and uh she lost the match of course but then the crowd just serenaded her with her theme music on the way out and like yeah yeah she's uh she's doing good and then uh it was the bailey sasha tri- did it have a trilogy or was no, it two, two, two yeah yeah that was that was really good yeah at, um nxt brooklyn yeah because there was it was like this right <clears throat> So, when you look at it, I don't want to say the psychology of it, right? But it's just like, okay, Sasha Banks had to become the boss, right? Yeah. Um, to to win the title, right? Yeah. But Bailey stayed true to Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> and Sasha couldn't handle that. Yeah. And oh, then that's, that's, that's kind of where the, the, it was like, oh, yeah, it's a physical beef, but it's also like... I had to, I had to you know, it's it a mental thing for Sasha as well. Yeah. It um, was match I was talking about. Yeah, it's from NXT Rivals. Yeah, yeah, it's a good match. Yeah, I might watch that again. Um, yeah, man, that was when. Oh yeah, I love women wrestling. Like, yeah, to be well, fair. Oh, well, well, yeah, go on. I know you. You say your bit. Mine's a bit of a weird. I was gonna say. I mean, like, so women's wrestling nowadays in WWF. WWE. Yeah. I would watch some, and I would some. I would not watch some others. Yeah. Uh, some matches I know we watched for the reviews of it, mm. but some things I could do about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like, I think they have a. They have a good. They have a, actually. To be fair, like you're saying, the rosters are much better physically capable, but then some people are not, and uh, I won't mention names because it just seems like we continually bash specific people. Who do we bash? Specific people, which I won't bash. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think who it is, though. That's what I think it's like. Eh. All right, well, you know. But, like, yeah. Like, for me personally, like now at this day and age, I would rather watch, and this is nothing against the company, like, uh, WWE women matches and NXT women matches rather than AEW. Oh, okay. Because I feel like... They AEW's women roster is good and everything, but they don't really know what they're doing with it. Yes, a lot of it yes, and no they also have someone. They also have someone on their roster which we continually bash. Uh, not not like we're going out to try and you know, um, but you know we will leave that person alone as well. I'm trying to think. The only person I like in my personal life I bash in AEW. It's not even a woman. It's Juice Robinson. I can't stand him, but um. <laughs> Trying to think, I I will name these people. Out, I think because every time there's a match of theirs that works on a pay per view, always kind of like giving them flack. So oh, I if it's who just... I think it is, I do like her, but it's yeah. just yeah, yeah, yeah. She's tall, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her. It's just yeah. again, I it's I have nothing to do with, with a problem with her. I think it's how they book her is my problem. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, I, I can't remember if there were any other women. I want to say necessarily women of note, but problem is obviously if this company doesn't care about them and gives us a reason to care about them, yeah, well, I think... you, you you can only recall certain things and you can't recall certain other things at a period of time that maybe you didn't watch them. Yeah, whatever. The, like you know? the funny thing is, I can recall more of like the diva stuff yeah. than I can in the attitude era women stuff. Yeah, probably to be fair though, as far as matches are concerned, yeah, they had many a gimmick match, yeah. but how many people were actually wrestlers? Yeah, mm. yeah, it's weird. As the attitude era is the innovator of the uh, bar and panties match, the yeah. mud wrestling match, yeah. the evening gown match, good the... housekeeping. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but that was good. Yeah, it was good, but it's that very much a one off, so yeah. so it wasn't consistent. Yeah. Um, yeah, and some other other nutty. Oh, you know what? To be fair though, oh, is it Patterson and Briscoe also had the evening girl match? Yeah. <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, but even now, looking back at that, I feel like that's a bit yeah. discriminating to one people involved in that as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, back then, back then, you didn't know though, did you? No, but yeah. it's, that's it. That makes it even worse. If you think about it now. <laughs> that yeah, makes it yeah, kind yeah. of worse. Like there's like bullying a dude on TV. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is as well, it's like that's what we remember them for now. Yeah, as the Stooges, mm-hmm. you know, they had careers before that. Yep. 
very famous careers before that. Yeah. yeah. And we just remember them as as the two guys that were like yes uh, Vince McMahon yes mans. Yeah. You know. And then just get to not humiliate themselves but making clowns of themselves. Yeah. I hope they were getting paid like stupid amount of money. So like, you know what? Meh, it's a living. Yeah. 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 I hope so. Yeah. So um to close off this episode, I'm the man who won a women's title. The women's title. Yeah. CY Chong. And I am the man who was kidnapped. Actually, no, I was the man who took beatings from lots of other people just to turn on someone to go, ha ha, I was against you all along, Carl Charles. Well, what's the kidnapping one, though? I was gonna, the kidnapping was like, I was going to go bring the Chris Jericho smashing China's thumb thing, which is... Oh, like, right, right, right. Yeah. I was like, I wonder where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, okay. you know what? That's too dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Chris Jericho is a good guy. But, um... Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's something uh, yeah, I and then, about. Like, like, now you point out, it's like, yeah, he was. Yeah. But kind of, no, but he wasn't. No. So it was but like, something like that, even a, yeah, like something like that. Realistically, you shouldn't be able to come back as a good guy ever from doing something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Randy Orton set someone's house on fire, and he's been a good guy. So. Uh, he, why did Randy Orton actually set someone on fire? Yeah, and he he was a good guy no, in that gonna, situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that, we're going to call that a supernatural entity. So maybe you could survive it. Yeah, maybe. He was doing the Lord's work. Yeah, getting rid of a demon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, Randy yeah. Orton is an exorcist. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's how you can see it, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the rest then is weird. Yeah. Or, speaking of that, uh, this is a random tangent as well, even though I'm going to be closing up. Speaking of weird things good guys do. Yeah. Um. Remember, I think it was in 2009 when Randy Orton won the, won the Royal Rumble. And he yeah. punted Stephanie in the face and all that stuff. Yeah. And then Triple H, the good guy, the good guy, remember this, yeah? Yeah. Breaks into Randy Orton's house and basically nearly kills him. Yeah. And throws him through his living room window. Yeah. And he was the good guy. Yeah, he was uh, terrorizing Randy Orton like Randy Orton, like he was a horror villain, like it was Jason Voorhees. Yeah. But that also reminds me of the time where Steve, so called Steve Austin broke into Brian Pilgrim's house. Yeah, well, Stone Cold wasn't a good guy at that point. He oh, was yeah, like true, a, true. Well, was... no, yeah, but then I wouldn't exactly see Brian Pillman was a guy. No, nah, they were both just like nutcases. But... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Brian Pillman was a nutcase, yeah. and Stone Cold was. <laughs> well, we... Stone Cold was Stone Cold. Yeah. <laughs> His entire gimmick is he, like. With Stone Cold, he would just do all sorts of. Um... Yeah. Uh, but, brawler style stuff, yeah. But like, at least he had a Despite reason whoever. behind it. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When Fair it's enough. to Randy Orton's house, where Randy Orton's actress wife was there, yeah. and beat him up in front of that, and then like <laughs> destroyed basically his house, and nothing came from it. And then we will finish the feud in a normal yep. wrestling match, not no DQ match, no, or nothing a normal like that. wrestling no. match. Yeah, we just with a lock up to start. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> back to me closing up. Thank you for listening to us speak about the women of the attitude era. Do you remember any of these ladies? I'm pretty sure you don't because WWE don't remember them either. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you did, let us know who was your favourite and what matches of the probably 50 matches there was in a span of like four years which is not a lot when you think about it, let us know. And you could do that by sending us a message on Instagram, Twitter, or even an email, or leave a comment in the YouTube comment section. And also, if you're listening to this on the audios, please leave us a rating and a review on wherever you're listening to this. If it's Apple Music, Spotify any other the million podcasting things that we're on yeah and if you're on youtube give us a thumbs up and share us with your brethren out there and until next time guys i'd like to thank you all for taking a trip with us around the multiverse bye, bye.
first happened in the ring, I lost feeling in my arms. After the MRI was taken, they were showing that I had three ruptured discs in my neck. At that point, I was basically given two options. The first option was to never wrestle again. The second option was a uh, surgery where they would fuse my neck and um, basically never step into the ring after that again either. All the obstacles that I've overcome. All the obstacles I've overcome. All the steps in my life. All the steps I've taken in my life. They were all wrong. Thanks to the right to censor. Now I can make a change. I can fight a good fight. I can do what's right. I hate them. They've taken my life from me. Well, I've been going through a lot of extensive therapy on my neck. You know, I'm not at 100%, but uh, definitely working towards recovery. Does anybody here really care if China steps back into the ring again? I think that China is afraid of me and afraid to get in the ring with me. And I'm so sure of it that I am willing to lay my title on the line at Royal Rumble to prove it. China! King, there's China! What the heck? What's she doing out here? And Lena with a twist of fate on Ivory! Issued a challenge to me for your precious little women's title, knowing that I wouldn't show up knowing that I wasn't 100% physically well. I accept your challenge, and I will be there Sunday at the Royal Rumble. China gets a chance in revenge against